So I'm not sponsored in any way. I just love using the app. And I figured the best way for me to write down and jot down my advice and my tips and tricks for pharmacy school would be through um, a series of Notion templates. Hi, welcome to my channel. For those that are new here, I'm Sarah. I'm a clinical hospital pharmacist. And I just want to be able to give back to current pharmacy students, help them with their pharmacy journey, and that's what all my channel is all about. I graduated from pharmacy school in 2020, finished my pharmacy residency in 2021, and I've been a full-fledged hospital clinical pharmacist for about a year now. It's my one-year anniversary as a full-time pharmacist. As a first-generation Vietnamese pharmacist, you know, um, the whole process for me was pretty difficult. I didn't have, I was the first in my family, family to go to college, first in my family to pursue health care, um, pursue higher education, get a doctorate degree. So, you know, it was rough at first. I didn't have anyone to go to for questions. I didn't have a family mentor in this field that would help me navigate this. So what I wanted to do was to give back, help those pharmacy students that, you know, are alone in this process too. So what I did was I started a Notion template. So what I like about Notion is that you can access it on your phone. So it's pretty nice. So let's take a look. Let's go through the P1 template that I made together. I have little green bubbles with an icon, like a doctor icon that's from me. So it's just little tidbits and advice that I would mention on there that I think is important or you know my opinion or what you should um, do or the reasons why I mentioned certain things. There's two checklists on there. So I have one that's for um, P1 master to-do list and P1 personal to-do list. And I want to say that personal to-do list is really important because um, it's very easy to get burnt out in pharmacy school. And for those already in pharmacy school, you're pretty well aware it's hard. You're spending long hours in lecture, studying very difficult material. And, you know, there's just, it's hard to find time. Now on the major to-do list is the master to-do list about pharmacy. So I have here little um, icons, like I have here um, a star for like a bonus. It's like very beneficial for you to help set up a good foundation. One of the stars I have is obtain some sort of leadership position or experience. So this I think is really important and will set you up for all your future um, P2 to P4 years because oftentimes when you get the level one representative positions as a P1, it kind of opens those doors to future leadership positions because you're already involved in that certain organization. And with pharmacy becoming more and more competitive, it's good to have you know more on your resume, more on that CV, and to build up from there. And a lot of you know, residency programs and a lot of workplaces like to see consistency. They like to see that you've been involved in an organization and you stuck out with it. So I think that's important to show. And then also on this uh, Notion template, I have a section for grades. So you can, you know, jot down and log your, what courses, what your midterm score, your final exam scores, overall grades are. And then for the semester, for, so for mine, I have it broken down to two different semesters. So with what's great about Notion is that let's say you guys are a quarter system, you can easily just duplicate that box and just rename the squares. So that's what's nice. It's a template. You can easily just adjust it and, you know, cater it to your specific program. In there, I also have an ex pharmacy experience log. And I think out of all these templates, this one is the most helpful. Um, I honestly really wish I had this when I was a student. That's why I created this specifically. Um, it's just to jot down your IPIs, your APIs, your all your extracurriculars that you've done. So every single organization you join, what were your roles, were you a member, were you a representative, secretary, etc. Write down the tasks you completed, how long were you there, 
right, by rotations, who is the preceptor, the contact information, what tasks did you do? So all of these is really important to document throughout your pharmacy journey because by the time you're a P4, either if you're applying for residency or applying for jobs, you need to be able to reference back the past four years, what you've done, how impactful it was. So it's hard to remember and recall. So it's good to have this Notion template and just jot down and document everything from day one. If you're interested, I have the Notion template for P1 year free just to you know get a preview of what it's like. And I think it's important for P1 year that I make that personally free. And if you're interested in all the other years, P2, P3, P4, I also made um, a package if you're interested in buying and downloading on the link below. In the package, I included all the P1 to P4 years as well as um, an ultimate rotation and experience law. And I created a dashboard um, just so that you have everything as an easy access overview for you to click and find reference a lot quicker. I put a lot of work and heart and soul into this Notion template, so I think it'll be really helpful for you. Pharmacy school is not easy, and you know, if you're watching this, you know, I believe in you, you've got this, just keep going.